guys good morning i know my vlog is like all over the place but i swear to god like i'm really trying over here so and my days are just my days are just different so today i'm at a wedding i'm here to steam the bride's dress and then get her ready for the wedding and we'll take sneak peeks and take some pictures and all that and then um yeah so let's do this we are at well i'm at um aviento but yeah let's do this it's not a game it's a red steaming and I am on my way to pack my well the steam and stuff okay let me move out of here back to my lighting so I'm almost well I'm done I'm done steaming and the bride looks beautiful it's just that the wedding is running like super late <laughs> like really late the wedding is supposed to have started at 12 o'clock yeah but the bride is running late and uh, i'm just going to wait for her to uh, finish the ceremony and then once the ceremony is done uh, is it the ceremony? Yeah. The formal ceremony. Yeah, that. It is one. Yeah, once she's done with that, then I'm going to go home and sleep. Because, like, I really haven't slept enough. Yesterday I came home, like, late. And I was drinking wine. So I have a big headache and and yeah like I haven't been doing much so I think let's wait for her to get to the church and then yeah once she's at the church hopefully she'll be relaxed because right now, what she's doing is that she's panicking. And like seriously, seriously panicking. But she's done. So see you guys in a bit. In a bit. So guys, I know this is like overblown and stuff and like I can't fix my settings. So the photographer, not the official photographer, says to me that I have attitude because I don't want her to take pictures of my dress before it's steamed. I mean, guys, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. So, I ask him that please wait for me to finish with steaming the dress and then he can take pictures after that because the dress was creased so the photographer says to me no I want to take pictures now but the dress is bloody creased and I'm trying to steam the freaking thing so he says I've got attitude because of that and I wouldn't want a bride to walk down the aisle with a crease dress number one number two he's the one with an attitude problem not me so he needs to fix himself honestly but story for another day guys Avianta is beautiful look at the trees it's gorgeous a beautiful venue 
Fabke. <laughs> you know. Fabke. That is a beautiful name. Guys, you know. Like. Weddings, ne? I wanna like weddings. I've learned that. You need to get the right suppliers, to be honest. And once you've got the right suppliers, then you'll trust the process of you getting married and, and all that. Currently, we have photographers that are booked for like four hours. The bride is already running late for like an hour. And it's just so sad that they're counting their time per hour and they've already started counting so she's left with like three hours now and she's got backup photographers but you do understand that it's 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 sad but I'm sure she'll get beautiful pictures but she had to like ask a favor from a friend to say you know please come through and shoot the remaining part of the wedding and I always feel like me and, and, and my hubby we, we so understand when it comes to things like these and you know a person could be running I mean we have packages for like eight hours ten hours and then obviously now people want to scale it down to like five hours because of the small weddings that they may they doing but us personally we usually just start maybe counting the hours from like when the bride starts walking down because oh the lighting let me move quickly so sometimes you ubani you you have in what do they call it in zulu You sort of, I don't know what do you call it in Zulu, but yeah, you sort of have that thing, Let me, let me count from maybe when, when we start um, the ceremony or whatever. But we'll give you maybe like an extra hour. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen like that for everyone else. And yeah, it's a bit sad, but it's cool. ceremony is over ceremony is over and they are taking pictures I don't know if you guys can see the bride behind me the bride is behind me and it was a beautiful ceremony but you know these things you know I love weddings for for the ambience and for always I don't know to remind me how much I love my husband. <laughs> I love weddings for that. Because they remind me that, you know what, I love my person so much. And yeah, it's just a reminder, to be honest. And I feel like when we had weddings, we always like try to be like renew our vows. But yeah, it was a beautiful ceremony. I'm about to go home. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm everything in between. So yeah, later. guys hey y'all um oh so i'm back home Ugh, you know the m50 Ugh, now i feel like i need to look over there because i can't look over here <laughs> so it's like 
such a mix up but anyway i'm back home the wedding was beautiful the bridal gown was gorgeous and yeah i'm back home and ugh, i don't know i i've got like mixed mixed reactions you know regarding my day then yeah i just have mixed reactions but the bride was gorgeous the groom was very handsome the bridesmaids were beautiful and the gentlemen were like dapper so yeah today overall was such a beautiful day and i'm going to end the vlog today um guys my vlog is everywhere i was in soweto on monday doing a 50 year old birthday 50 year, yeah 50 year old birthday <laughs> i was dressing at 50 year old she had a party then and then what happened and then i don't know what happened in between and then i went to the wedding today to go dress a bride and yeah it's been a good week overall and wow guys like you know that guy who said oh your attitude does this you know men now we need to like say what to do every single time we talk to them like i can't talk and say you know like dude can i take a picture of the dress because now and he was done like the guy was done like he was literally done taking video or whatever he's doing of the dress and i just asked him Buti, can i and i said hey and i even said to him like Buti, are you done with the the dress can i take pictures of the dress and he says no your attitude this your attitude that and just because i had said to him um please don't take pictures of the dress before i steam it because i feel like it's going to appear on the video like it's going to be creased when it appears on the video ah uh, i guess oh brother just lost it Ooh, this girl like what the hell but like i feel like it's like any anyone who's like artistic like you know how artists are like they will work and they will sit in their studio and like they will paint or draw or whatever they do and they don't want people to see to see their work before it's done and that's how i felt i just felt like the dress was a bit creased was a bit creased when it came out of the suit cover so i was asking people to not take pictures of the dress before i steam it because now imagine when someone and another thing is that there was like a live streaming and you don't know when people are actually going to see you know the wedding but overall if like the dress is creased and these pictures make it to the album or these pictures make it to the video or whatever man like people see these pictures they're not gonna say you know the photographer didn't edit these pictures correct or whatever they're going to say that the fashion designer or the the dress designer did not steam the dress or did not make sure that this dress was steamed but anyway i just felt like the guy took it in a wrong way to say that because i had said that you know um can he just wait a little bit so that i can um i can steam the dress or maybe when i said can i have my spot back because like he was standing he was like he was sitting up where i was steaming the stuff so like he's a very emotional person <laughs> like he's very emotional and like maybe because i'm a woman and like you know please move or please do this or please do that he took it in a wrong way but i, I didn't even get what his name is and i just it was actually bugging me when i was driving back home to say that actually that guy has a nerve you know to say i have an attitude or whatever but ugh, that's all up to to him and yeah it was bugging me a little bit and you know it was like this dude really but wherever he is i apologized i apologized to his face and i said i'm sorry if you feel that i've got an attitude but you're not gonna take pictures of a dress that's not steamed my work will not be you know displayed wherever you know with with a creased dress and a creased veil and a no and if that seems like i had an attitude 
uh, towards him because of that then yeah i have an attitude but anyway i did apologize to him just to keep the peace because the mother-in-law was there and the bride i didn't want to upset the bride but i we spoke with the bride we actually laughed about it to say that like i don't even know where and he left he left the room like the guy left the room and never shot like other pictures but anyway story for another day and uh, yeah but i apologized to him and i told him sorry putty if you think that i've got an attitude but like you're not going to take pictures of the dress if it's creased or whatever and you know these these men are so emotional like banababa emotional gonna know like take it like a man man like they're so emotional but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this vlog i really really do appreciate it uh i would like um this channel to be because weddings are back and obviously that's what i'm focusing on now i will however you know load more of weddings and wedding series or whatever it is but thank you so much to you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe like as well as share i have asked the couple um for me to load their their pictures or their video on the channel so i did ask permission i'll never upload people on my channel if um, i didn't ask permission but i did do so thank you so much for watching goodbye